Hi, my name is Marcus Kupla. You might remember me from such data collection videos as Three, the magical marriage of three and five, and I can count, I can count nine times. This video is about data collection and specifically the importance of data collection. Data collection, as you may or may not know, is the process of writing things down in an organized manner so that you can then look back and analyze your own information. Now, data collection is better if you, the client, are writing it down rather than if I, the therapist, am writing it down. For one, it's harder to argue with your own data. Two, a lot of times data collection is about your own subjective experience of something. And that's going to be difficult, if not impossible, for a third party to do that. Another thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we're collecting our data regularly. If we're not collecting our data regularly, then it's going to be really hard to assess what's going on over a period of time when there are gaps. CBT, or Cognitive Behavior Therapy, relies a lot on homework and a structured approach. So to this end, a lot of data collection occurs within the context of doing a CBT activity. It might be something such as tracking your pain, or tracking your emotional experience, or tracking how much anxiety you felt, during this activity or this time of day or something of that nature. But it is structured, it's laid out so that you can look at it and look back at it and think about what does this really mean. The importance of data collection is that it gives you an unalterable record of your own experiences. By being able to look back and look at what you wrote about your own experiences, whether it's a rating or a description, you're often able to remember, well, what did that actually feel like? Now this is very important for noticing relative increases over time. Most of getting better for any particular issue isn't about going to see somebody and then you go from I was very bad to I'm good. It's a slow gradual increase. By being able to write down your information and being able to look back at it, you can notice that things increase gradually over time. This also helps you stay invested in the therapeutic process. One of the things that can happen is over time, between one day and the next, or one week and the next, we often don't feel better. We think we feel exactly the same as we did yesterday or the day before. However, being able to look back at our own information allows us to think more critically about our experience. And it's much like climbing a mountain. From one step to the next, you might not notice a difference. But when you take many steps over time, again, you might say, wow, I've been climbing this mountain forever. But when you look back and you're able to see, wow, yeah, I have come a long way, that's what data collection does for you. It gives you that long look into the history that you can look at and say, wow, yeah, things have gotten better. So data collection is very useful for noticing improvement. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to keep it nice and short. Data collection is good because it's your own information. It gives you a track record to look back at. It helps you critically evaluate your own experiences and it helps you notice relative increases so that you can actually understand that you have made progress. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you next time.